Hi. We're going to uh, continue our discussion of GIMP with a very important topic of color profiles and selecting a color and uh, basically what it all means. So I'm going to go to open. I'm going to open a file. That's a picture of a lake I took. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our foreground color select. I'm going to click on it and bring up this uh, dialog called change foreground color. What you have to understand is there are basically uh, three uh, color models. There's um, the first one is called the additive color model, which is red, green, and blue, or R RGB. It's called RGB. It's basically what Adobe uses. GIMP uses it. Um, it's the additive color model. What it means by additive is, if you can see here, we have black. Uh, that's represented by zero red component. The components go from zero to 255. And zero green and zero blue. Now, if we raise those to each 255, we get white. That's why they call it additive. If the red, green, and blue are added together in their maximum values, which is 255, we get white. So what we can do is click on the black and it immediately takes it back to the minimum values, which are all zeros. So zero, zero, zero on red, green, and blue, which is as if the monitor was off. Okay, what we get is we get uh, black. Uh, white is 255 or the maximum color that can be produced by each one uh, each one of those components together red green and blue produces uh, 255 that's white that's called the additive color model now the additive color model is found in devices that emit light um, monitors emit light uh, things of this nature television sets whatever they emit colors okay um, there's another color model called CYMK. It's represented by this uh, uh, this dialog right here, CYMK, which is uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow. That is a subtractive color model. Uh, the subtractive color model is used in printers, uh, devices that reflect light. So there the confusion ends. The reason that they have um, CMYK is that K is a black component that is added because <coughs> in printing by subtracting all the colors or by adding all the colors together it is hard to produce black. Um, so what they do is they add a black component. Okay so keep this in mind. We have RGB which is um, red, green, and blue. When they're added all together as in this instance they equal white. When they go to black, they are all zeros. Now, what happens is you see something down here called HTML notation. Basically what this is, is two or is three two-digit groups. So if we go to like red, let's say, we get a crazy looking number called F31010, which is a hexadecimal notation used to represent that color in hexadecimal. Now many programs, they're going to quote hexadecimal colors. So if you want to transfer that color over using another uh, a program's color picker or go out of GIMP using uh, their color picker, like here, if we'll pick this green, if you'll notice, we'll get a hexadecimal color called C67F3F. Um, basically, it, it equates to um, the RGB values, the C6 is the red RGB value and the um, 7F is the green RGB value and the 3F is the blue RGB value. So anyways, um, what you've got here is you've got these three components, red, green, and blue. And if you'll notice, we have another component here called V, or well we have three, H, S, and V. H is hue, S is uh, saturation, and V is uh, value. So if we go here to our maximum red value, if you'll notice, we're paired 
with the, um, the V, which is the value. What that's saying is that's saying we're putting out, um, and it's also the saturation. The saturation says that's putting out the brightest, um, or that's the purest red. It's totally red in component. So if we bring this back towards the white, if you notice the other colors begin to increase to take it to um, a, uh, you know, a version of white or, you know, a, a pink. So the saturation is the pureness of the color. So if you have 255 on the red, which is a totally red component with zero, zero on green and blue, what you're going to have is the saturation is going to indicate, um, you know, how, or how intense that color is. The value is going to indicate basically um, the brightness of that color. Now, these also can be, you know, uh, referred to in hues. As we move the hue, the hue travels around this circle. We can, if you'll see, all the numbers of the red, green, and blue are changing according to the color until we hit a total red. Now, the point is, is if you'll notice, as we move the value down, which is the brightness of the color, if you'll notice it moves down the edge of the triangle. As we move the saturation down, it moves down towards the white. That's saturation is the percentage in the RGB of uh, the pureness of the color, how much white. Um, the value is the intensity of the color. And this is the hue. I hope that made sense. Um, the CMYK model, which is in printers, is used for reflective light. Remember, these are used for um, uh, these are used for emitted light. We had to discuss this because we're going to get into black and white, uh, or color or color pictures being transformed into black and white, and we're going to be using this model for the three areas that we're going to do it. And then uh, also when we get into color correction of images using histograms and curves, we're also going to use this. So this is important stuff to know. Thank you. That's the end of this video.